Hey everyone, so in the following video we'll show you how to install the WooCommerce plugin and how to activate the Blanco store within your template. Now the following process can be applied to Blanco or any other template released by FlowThemes. So first of all what you'll need to do is just head on over to WooThemes.com forward slash WooCommerce. Head on over to this area and uh, click on download WooCommerce. Once the file is downloaded, you'll then be uploaded to you'll then be able to upload this plugin to your website backend. <clears throat> now, assuming that you already have the Blanco template activated and you have your blog up and going, or if it's just a newly installed template, the process still remains the same. First of all, what you'll need to do is install Blanco. Uh, next off, you'll head on over to the plugins area and uh, just click on Add New to install the WooCommerce plugin. Now, once you've installed the plugin, your shop will be activated. Uh, so we'll click on Upload. And next off, we'll click on Browse Files, find the WooCommerce zip folder that we downloaded. Click on Open and click on Install Now. You'll then be asked to insert your FTP details and the password. You type those in here and then click on Proceed. All right, so here we have the process going. You'll see that it is unpacking now and the plugin has been successfully installed. So now what you'll need to do is just click on activate plugin. Once you've activated the plugin, there are several other areas that you'll be asked to activate. Uh, here we have install WooCommerce pages or skip setup. Now for those who have not installed WooCommerce ever to their template, it is necessary to click on install WooCommerce pages. This will install pages such as shop, my account, checkout pages, etc. Those who already have installed um, WooCommerce before, uh, you'll just need to click on skip setup or essentially you don't need to click on anything because you already have WooCommerce installed. So we'll click on install WooCommerce pages. We'll have all of our pages installed now. And um, uh, over here within the settings area, you can play around with all of the WooCommerce settings. You can play around with your products, uh, your base location, tax, checkout, shipping, integration, all of that good stuff can be done within the WooCommerce settings. However, at this point, what we want to do is just head on over to our appearance area, click on themes and install the Blanco child theme, which actually has the shop within it. So at this point, we'll need to click on add new because currently we have the Blanco parent theme in installed and now we'll need to click on um, install our Blanco child theme which has the shop inside of it. So we'll click on browse and once we've downloaded the child theme from Flow Themes, we'll click on open. Once again, you'll be asked to uh, insert your FTP details. So you'll add those here and then click on proceed and um, activate that template or activate the theme once it's been successfully installed. So I have it successfully installed and I'll click on activate now. All right, so now that I have my theme activated, you'll see that I have my WooCommerce, I have my products, I have my Blanco shop activated. Uh, Blanco parent is inactive at this point. And here I have my Blanco website, essentially the one that I've just installed. It's, as you see, it's a completely clean website with no content whatsoever. So um, at this point, when once you've installed WooCommerce, you've installed the Blanco child theme with the store, you're now able to add customization options to it and add pages and so forth. So let's just head on over to our pages area. And here we have several pages added. We see that we have a cart page checkout. Uh, we have a my account page and a shop page. So let's just do a quick overview of the shop page and uh, we'll just go here and it's essentially this page has pretty much the same options as any other page. We do have page templates, we then have the ability to showcase um, a slideshow uh, within our page, we then have the ability to display or not display our page title, social media sharing, uh, latest testimonials above the footer and uh, with the page layout options or the templates we have uh, latest products um, but at this point we're not going to select latest products because as soon as you install um, WooCommerce shopping pages to your website the shop page is by default the main shopping page so 
um, only if you want to create a separate page for example a separate category page you'd want to uh, give it this latest products uh, template and then you select the actual product type or the product category that you want to feature there for example if you'd be selling um, books or t-shirts or anything like that you can always select the specific product type to display within a product page but at this point it's not necessary to select um, latest products um, so at this point, let's just go ahead and uh, let's just click on view page and see some of the options we have here. Uh, we actually have already a test product uploaded that I've actually previously uploaded. Um, but let's just head on over and see what this process looks like. So we'll need to go on over to the products area. And uh, we'll click on add new product. So this will be just product one and next off I'll uh, just get some dummy text to use to, for dummy content to add alright so here we have the just product descriptions we have our product price it'll be at 150 product featured image we'll take this image click on set product image then we'll add product gallery uh, images, so we'll just select all of these images. Click on Add to Gallery. Once they've been added, uh, you'll then need to add additional uh, customizations like inventory attributes, um, product author, etc. But we'll go over those details in a separate video. So at this point, let's just go ahead and publish our product. We'll go here to our main product page to our shop page. As you see here, I have my uh, link or the URL as slash shop. Here I have product one. Once we click on it, uh, we have the product image, we have the description, we have additional descriptions, and here we have the product image gallery that we can uh, simply click through. All right, so um, yeah, this is pretty much the very basic process of how to set up your Blanco shop. Uh, from here on, what you'll need to do is play around more with the customizations. All of the customizations are essentially taken care of uh, within the WooCommerce settings area. And uh, we'll have all of the links in the video description below for you to uh, see where uh, which sections are responsible for what uh, within the customizations. So here we have a quick overview of products, taxes, checkout, shipping, accounts, and email notifications. Uh, next off, within the flow themes area, uh, we actually have a full-on uh, tutorial guide of where you can upload, or I'm sorry, where you can update the settings. So we have color settings, we then have typography settings, we have image sizing, etc. All of that can be uploaded with all that can be adjusted within the flow themes area. We do have also a full on video tutorial of how to create and add products. So please watch this video as well. Um, but other than that, this is pretty much it. Uh, this is the entire setup process for the Blanco, uh, for the Blanco shop. And uh, we do hope this video helps. We also have an additional Blanco shop tutorial with some general information that uh, once again, these links will be in the video description below. But um, if you do have any questions, feel free to let us know. Thank you.